Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games, back with another great arcade game video for you this evening. This is another Nintendo Classic. We've been doing a lot of those lately, if you look on our timeline, or our, uh, here on YouTube, but the ones that we've uploaded. We've went through a lot of the Nintendo ones lately. We got in a whole bunch of them, and we've been uh, restoring them, or refurbishing them, and getting them back up and running. And our latest acquisition is Nintendo's Popeye. What a cool game. If you've never played this one, this is a really fun one. Um, it doesn't get the respect it deserves, in my opinion. But it's one of the classic Nintendo ones that has the classic Nintendo cabinet and uh, really looks great. This one's in pretty decent shape. Not new, uh, but looks good. You can see it's got the same cabinet pretty much that uh, Donkey Kong had. Donkey Kong Jr. had. Donkey Kong 3 had really similar to the Mario Brothers cabinet and uh, this was kind of what they did these we always say these look like Christmas tree ornaments it looks like <laughs> if they were miniature you could put a little wire on the top and hang them from a Christmas tree they're all real colorful just really attractive games so we'll check out uh, I guess the, we'll show the side art a little bit this was done in 1982 and in 1982 Popeye was a pretty big deal Right now it's not. A lot of kids probably wouldn't even know who Popeye is, but at the time, it was a big deal. You can still get Popeye spinach. Have you guys and girls ever seen that? If you go to the uh, grocery store and look, they've got a Popeye brand spinach right on the shelf. I saw it not too long ago. But uh, So you got Popeye, who is the protagonist, right? And Popeye, he is competing with the evil Bluto, who's just a rough, tough guy. Popeye and Bluto are competing for the affection of lovely olive oil. And uh, I guess she just can't make up her mind. I don't know what's going on with that. But Popeye has this weird ability. When he eats his spinach, he gets super strong and then can uh, beat up Bluto, who's much bigger and usually is... Uh, running the show. And then you've got the uh, this old buzzard and then Wimpy who will gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. And then the baby. Whose baby is it? What's going on there? What's going on with that? How come? What? Huh? What? And then the old sea hag. Very cool art. 1982. Cabinet's in nice shape. You can see that the marquee's just very simple, like the, the Donkey Kong marquees. And here it says, 1982 King Features Syndicate. There's a neat story about this that you folks have probably all heard. But uh, whenever Shigeru Miyamoto designed, I like how they did this. Look how Bluto's on the bezel and the marquee. Just little things, folks, little things. Uh, it, whenever Shigeru Miyamoto designed Donkey Kong, he was a big Popeye fan. He loved it, even in Japan, which it, where I guess it's big over there, or was. And so he wanted to make Donkey Kong uh, a Popeye game. So he wanted the character that was that became Donkey Kong to be... Uh, Bluto, and he wanted uh, the Jumpman character that became Mario to be Popeye, and he wanted the the girl that you're trying to save, Pauline, to be uh, Olive Oil. And so the girders and all of that were added later. You know, all that was figured out later. It was just kind of the developmental stage of the game. He had already worked on some other games, you know, and uh, Nintendo was doing other things at the time. But he he eventually wanted it to be a Popeye game. And they couldn't work out a deal with King Features Syndicate, who owns Popeye. They just weren't really interested. So Nintendo and uh, Miyamoto decided you came up with the concept of Donkey Kong, which, uh, you know, made history. And uh, after Donkey Kong was an incredible success, along comes King Features Syndicate, and they say, you know what about that Popeye game? 
we think maybe we could do one. I mean, uh, let's work out a deal. And so they worked out a deal. And uh, the next year, they released Nintendo's version of Popeye. So it's a, it's a cool game. It's, like I said, it's kind of underrated. So uh, Nintendo always had these real colorful bezels. Bluto's always drinking beer. The sea ag and her buzzard. Buzzard. And there's good old Popeye. I won't do a Popeye impersonation. Leave that up to you folks. I don't know if the button colors are right. They may be, may not be. You can see here the mark of a the mark of a great game. Cigarette burns above the buttons. If they're real bad, we replace it, but those, are, those aren't major, so we left it. Gives it a little character, folks, and we don't have to spend 50 bucks on a new control panel over there. Works out both ways. All right, so here's the instructions. Higher floor, higher points. Catch the heart, the music notes, and letters. Grab spinach and catch them for double points. So if, you're, if you've got the spinach and you catch them, you get twice as many points. Popeye catches her heart. When the heart falls into the water, Popeye has a few seconds to save it, otherwise her heart breaks. So depending on where you catch the, uh, the heart, you get more points. So 500 at the top, 300 at the level below, 100 below that, and 50 at the bottom level. And double, of course, if you have the spinach. Tub overhead, bonus. Popeye punches, he gets 30 points. Tub falls over Brutus's head, if you get, if it's the lower the floor is, the more points you get. You can see the staining on this. So if you're on the third floor, you get a thousand points. Second floor, two thousand points. First floor, four thousand points. So if you knock, if you knock that barrel down with the punching bag, and he's all the way down on the bottom, you get a ton of points. So, oh, right on cue. So he was on the second level. He got two thousand points, and then extra points punch. You get 100 if you hit a bottle, 100 if you hit a skull that the hag throws. And then, or I guess she doesn't throw them, they just kind of bounce. She throws the bottles. Spinach power. Only when Popeye's face is red can he KO Brutus. Punch to grab. You get 3,000 points. Spinach. 2F or 3F only. So it's only on the second floor or the third floor. So this had Nintendo's uh, or Sanyo's uh, classic monitor that they put in these Nintendo Nintendo put in these cabinets. Uh, so they've got a really good picture, real colorful, just a cool game. So I will set up the tripod and we'll play it a little bit, and you can hear not only see the great game, but you can hear how great the game is too. This game had the early Nintendo style music that was just fantastic, in my opinion. So uh, we'll check that out. Be right back. Toot, toot. <laughs> cool game, people. Cool game. All right, we're going to try it out a little bit. See what y'all think. If you haven't seen it before, or if you have played it before, we're going to have you relive uh, your childhood memories. Now, like most Nintendo games, some of the best part is the sound. with Bluto is he's pretty slow so you can't really mess with him when he's on your level but if you uh, if you run around under him or above him usually you're all right because he won't usually he won't catch you in time oh I missed it 
need to get that heart. Hmm. Oh, she hit me in the back. That's what I get for messing around. Once he ducks down like that, you can't really. He's gonna smack you in the head as soon as you get near him. Oh, he tried it again. Oh no. Mmm. <laughs> I get no loving. Catch. Oh. I missed. Yeah, run, Bluto, you punk. Run, you punk. Oh, now what's up? It's kind of creative because there's no jump button. I missed. I missed. See him looking at me. Uh-oh, I let one get away. Ah, I forgot to punch. can hit him. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> I was just kidding, Bluto. <laughs> Boy, the notes fall faster. He did a he did a double level. Ooh. Beat his ass. Sorry, kids. How do you get to uh She's scolding me. Look what you did. All right, there you go, folks. That's Popeye. What a cool game. Very tough game for me, though. I need to practice a little bit. This thing's in great shape, though. Whew. Awesome. Look, we gave it a place of prestige in our showroom so everybody could see all the side art and everything. We've got a little Nintendo row going here now. Look at that. So, by the time you see this video, Popeye may have uh, sailed on off to someone else's home. We may not even have it for sale anymore, but we just figured we'd film this and uh, show you how great it was. 
you can see all the games that we have available no matter what time you're seeing this video even if it's years from now on our website at lionsarcade.com or stop by and see our showroom here we've got tons of games in at all times uh, we're in downtown Rock Hill which is about 15 miles south of Charlotte North Carolina we're in Rock Hill South Carolina if you're not local so you can't come by and you're not going to go to our webpage because it'll just depress you to see all these beautiful arcade games that are uh, are for sale that you don't uh, have the uh, the uh, inclination to buy right now just subscribe to us here on YouTube we film videos every time we get something cool in like this we'll film a little video of it so you can remember uh, what they were like back in the day so we will see you on that next video